Hi, my name is Jack Taylor and I'm a writer for the National Guitar Academy. In today's lesson we're going to be having a look at some techniques which will help us with our guitar playing. So this comes as part of my um, article and lesson on how to play lead guitar. If you haven't seen that article yet, um, go in the description box below, there'll be a link to it. Click on it, check it out, have a look at some of the things I've got to say and stuff, how you can get involved in lead guitar playing. And then once you've had a little bit of a look for it, come back here and um, let's get stuck into these techniques. So the final technique we're going to look at is um, hammer-ons and pull-offs. So might have been something that you've heard quite a lot before, used huge amounts in rock guitar, um, also heard in blues too, many different styles which actually have guitars in. So a really useful technique to get under your fingers to try and help you out. So um, I mean let's get stuck in. <laughs> first do hammer-ons and pull-offs there's a couple of things to remember which you need to use. Make sure you use the fingertips. You spend all that time working really hard on your guitar chords and you get these nice bit up calluses. It'd be a shame not to use them wouldn't it? So try and use the tips of your fingers and really push down. Most of the mistakes that I first see from beginner guitar players when they start to do hammer-ons and pull-offs are simply hammering or trying to hammer on too high and trying to pull off too low. So what I mean by that, I often see this getting this night like if you can see that, trying to get as far away as possible from the guitar to hammer on down to the string. Um, the problem with that is when you go to do it, you're decreasing the amount of chances that you can hit the string that you actually want. It's going to be really hard to get that power, even though it makes sense in your mind, you know, further away you go, back to it to try and hit that note when you actually do it, it doesn't really make much sense so the way I like to think of doing hammer-ons is um, kind of like a boxer so when you see most boxers they do you know like nice little jabs like that trying to go it trying to you know get the target it. I'm not a boxer but this analogy kind of helped me to get my hammer-ons together so I like to use as little space as possible and give the note a quick jab by doing that it makes my note a bit more accurate and it gives me a higher chance to hit the string that I actually want so I'm just going to use this D string here on the 5th fret and hammer on to the 7th using my 3rd finger and so can you s I'll just get in nice and close there so you can see I'm not going not much control there. There's a lot more control when I do it closer and that's a really kind of important thing to remember when you do it. When we look at um, pull-offs for example, the same thing, a lot of people just go straight for the hole, try to pull their hand away as far as possible because they think the further they pull down the bigger the note. You want it to be nice and controlled and you want to keep your hand straight, you don't, don't really want the wrist moving you know, like flapping around like that, you just want it to be a nice kind of pull-off. When I think of pull-offs, I don't really think of them as na the name as pull-off, I think more of it as a pull-down, because if I pull down on the string, it allows that motion to come through, so I want to just go like, pulling down on the string rather than going like that, just pulling down, and getting into it getting into that. I mean you can do this with all your fingers if you want, so you could go one and two. Or one and three. One and four. Same with pull-offs. And one really good way to practice this is to put it into a scale. So if you've read the article, you'll just see me use the A minor pentatonic scale. Um, if you don't know that scale, go to that article and there'll be a tab there and you can quickly learn it. So what you can actually do, you can use hammer-ons on the way up the scale and pull off on the way down. Say like this. <laughs> so that's hammer-ons on the way up, pull-offs on the way down. you could do the opposite, so you could do pull-offs on the way up, hammer-ons on the way down. 
The important thing to also remember when you do hand runs and pull offs, it's just one pick motion. Pick motion. So when you normally pick a minor pentatonic, I'll just get a quick close up of my guitar on the strings. It's just like. Can you see how? Can you see how each note is picked? When you do a hammer on and pull off, it's just one pick. So it's like pick hammer, pick hammer, pick hammer. So like like this. So pick hammer, pick hammer, pick hammer, pick hammer, pick hammer, pick hammer. So when you come down, but instead of saying hammer, it's pull off now. So pick, pull off, 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 pick. That's kind of all you need to know when you first start getting into hammer-ons and pull-offs. Give it a go, see what you can make and see if you can make some music with it, that's what it's all about. So hopefully you find this lesson interesting and it's helped you a little bit with your lead guitar playing. Let me know your thoughts, if you've got any questions or comments just comment them down in the section below and I'll make sure I try and get back to them as quick as possible. Thanks for that, I'll see you soon.